Welcome to Masters. We're going to talk about fatalities for the MK movie. Should they be more like how the new games are? Or should it be a death onslaught? But do like, subscribe, be the bell notification, follow me in the future for more content. So, yes, as we have Mortal Kombat 2 coming out, there's always the possibility and things that we think of like brutalities. We know we're never going to get them like the classic games. And probably more along the line of the newer ones. But the newer ones could be classed as more fatalities instead of brutalities. Now, how should they be handled? As we know in the new games now, we see that in story parts and how it goes, not everybody dies. Some get knocked out, some get put unconscious or have a broken bone or something and it completely knocks them out. As we have seen throughout Chaos Reigns and we have seen through the Mortal Kombat 1 story mode. Heck, even MK. 11 handled it very similar and MKX was more of the line of like you know people did die but on a smaller scale but then they started to tone it back now when we go into these type of games now could the movie possibly also have the same similar effect because obviously MK 2021 definitely gave us the vibe that there was always a fatality there was always something that was going on and literally someone was getting killed after each fight there was a fatality to show off the differences between the older films and how it is now with fatalities so does that mean that in this time round we will be seeing different type of things like possibly seeing different outcomes of how fights um, commence we know that the fights from what they've said is it's supposed to be really brutal they've made it 10 times better than what the first film's fights are which is the thing that we were all asking for we were all hoping for the fights to be that type of way choreographed a lot better but with the fatalities will they be looked at in the same way as well we don't know we know that there's a lot of gore and stuff so that could be things like you know someone getting slashed or maybe someone loses a finger but i do feel the way that they can handle this very quite well would be to make sure that most of the deaths are done by the fathers so I mean, we can still have deaths on main characters, like characters from the MK universe, proper ones, but only if it fits the story, not certain deaths that feel to play out in the way that they have. Because I feel like obviously in the first film, they had to play out that way because Shang Tsung had to bring some of these back or show that obviously death is but a portal, they can come back or this wasn't supposed to happen. So someone's going to use dark magic to bring them back in a type of way. But when it comes to obviously the new film, I think most of the characters are ones that are going to remain. They're not ones that are going to be killed and left dead. And then that's just it for them in the franchise. Characters who no one cares about like Jarek or even some ones like even like um, Kira and Cobra. I know no one really cares about them. So people like that can come in, have a nice show of a fight, but then die. But the characters who are ones that we definitely want, such as like how Nitara died or even some like if that was Goro or just one of his Shokans or even Reptile, people like that, if they're not going to serve a purpose in this new film universe and they're gone, then it's kind of like a sad thing to just use the fatality to end them. I know when we verse each other in games, we obviously do a fatality on them, but sometimes we just let them die or we just uppercut them and they're done. I do feel that the film should definitely handle the fatalities in a much more um, unique way, where it only has to happen to a character who doesn't serve a purpose going forward, not just on a character who's going to return in the next film anyway. And I'd like it to see that most of the brutal things are done to the... Um, characters but not in a way to kill them in a way that they're they're done like they're they're finished and the earthworm warriors ain't going to be the ones to kill them off so easily or to kill them because it's not in their pathway like Liu kang won't just kill someone for no reason there has to be a reason for it he's against those things but someone like sub-zero or even scorpion they definitely might do but it depends on what the situation happens whether someone jumps in or whether they choose not to that's up to go but Liu kang and people are they shouldn't really need to but kung lao had to because that was the time where they were in their their righteous area nitara had to die in that position but when we come to this film i don't know who might die or who might not die as we know there are some outworld forces but i think a lot of the enemies and characters will be fodders and the main ones will be ones that will fight but they won't be killed they'll live to fight another day but they will show disgrace in shao khan's face and i feel that's hopefully what they're going to set up with and what they're going to do because i do like how the newer games nowadays do it how they don't kill off every character because then you're like oh they're not going to come back for the next game or how are they supposed to come back or anything so i'm glad that 
that they they've thought that out smartly of who to kill where to put them what happens to them and everything otherwise Shang Tsung in many games would have been killed off straight away but he hasn't been in multiple times and I feel like that's something that they can look forward to or look to do in a right type of way but obviously let me know what do you guys think do you think fatality should happen all the time throughout the film on every character or should they be handled rightly in the best way possible to make sure that characters get finished in a good way and get finished where it makes sense so if the character needs to die if they have no more purpose especially if they're characters who are like um how sue or someone and yeah because they're only built there for the action sequence but then they don't have stories going forward but do like subscribe this is your boy future boy in back to future stay frosty peeps peace